Aditya Engineering, an ISO 9001-2008 certified company. We design and manufacture customized high vacuum technological products in range of transformer oil filtration, vacuum impregnation plants, vacuum drying oven, epoxy mixing and casting plants, oil dehydration plants, vacuum drying and impregnation plants, transformer evacuation systems, allied products. All product range is available in various capacities as required. Vacuum pressure impregnation process is required for impregnating coils of LT or HT machines. This process improves the insulation resistance, life and performance of components. The plants required for impregnation are specially designed for all types of varnishes, oils, epoxy resins, wax, petroleum jelly in electrical motor, transformers and capacitors manufacturing, automobile coil industry and many other sectors. These plants comprise impregnation chamber, storage tank, vacuum system, control panel, chiller, compressor. To improve the quality and plant efficiency, additional features can be added. Digital instrumentation with automatic control on PLC. SCADA system. PLC based fully or semi-automatic system. Heating system. Filters and condensers. Automatic lid opening or closing and clamping or declamping. Process of impregnation. Chiller and water pump are the independent units which will operate continuously on for maintaining required temperature of resin or varnish inside the storage tank. The impregnating process commences with components preheating in drying oven or impregnating chamber. After sufficient drying in atmospheric pressure, components are kept in impregnating chamber for further drying under vacuum for suitable time. Let's demonstrate process of transformer impregnation as an example. The impregnating process starts with welcome screen display. Designed and manufactured by Aditya Engineering. This indicates the plant is ready for operation. Stirrer unit starts in auto mode for 5 minutes of on and 55 minutes of off. Vacuum pressure impregnation cycle. The auto cycle is started by pressing auto cycle start. The cycle is divided into following steps. Dry cycle under vacuum. Weight cycle under vacuum and resin or varnish. Weight cycle under pressure and resin or varnish. Dipping cycle under atmospheric pressure. First step in dry cycle vacuum evacuation process is start. Waiting for vacuum. Once the required vacuum is reached, the vacuum system will stop and vacuum evacuation starts. Parallel timer will start during which the display screen indicates dry cycle running. In this process, vacuum will drop. Again vacuum system will start and maintain the vacuum. After completion of dry cycle, immediately next cycle will start. Wait cycle under vacuum and resin or varnish. Resin or varnish loading. Once dry cycle is completed, hooter starts. This indicates to start the varnish loading. During this time, the display will show turn on resin or varnish loading. The operator needs to turn the resin or varnish load or unload switch towards loading position manually. This will stop hooter and when the operator does so, the varnish loading starts. During varnish loading period, the display will indicate resin or varnish loading in progress. The resin or varnish starts flowing from storage tank to impregnation tank. The operator needs to observe the resin or varnish level inside the impregnation tank through the glass window. 
once it reaches the required level of resin or varnish, the loading will stop. After completion of varnish loading process, timer will start and maintain the required vacuum level inside the impregnation tank. During wet cycle process, the display screen indicates wet cycle running, wait cycle under air pressure and resin or varnish. During this process, air pressure will pass on to impregnating tank from compressor. The display screen indicates waiting for air pressure. After achieving the required air pressure, timer starts and maintains the air pressure for specified time. The display screen indicates pressure cycle running. After completion of pressure cycle, the next process is of pressure release. The display screen indicates pressure release. Varnish unloading. After completion of pressure release, the next and final process is to unload varnish. The operator needs to turn the varnish load or unload switch towards unload position. During this process, the display screen shows resin or varnish unloading in progress. After few minutes, the resin or varnish starts flowing from impregnation tank to storage tank. After completion of varnish unloading, operator needs to move varnish load or unload switch towards normal position. After completion of this process, the display will indicate the counting of cycles completed. Cycle finish. Completed jobs 1. Dripping cycle. Components are kept for dripping for some time and are transferred to oven for curing. This ends the vacuum pressure impregnation cycle.